Today we're going to show how to use a mold strap. Now this may seem elementary, but we get a lot of calls about this of why isn't there a video that shows how to lace up these dang mold straps. So here it is. These are the little tension straps we sell on our website that are used to hold molds together, especially useful when casting expanding foams or other products that generate back pressure, where a good seal is required on the mold to make a good part. So we're going to show how to lace one of these straps up, and you can bookmark this video in case at 12 o'clock at night you forget how to use one of these little devils. Now the first key is to wrap it around the mold with the stripe on the outside. Now the little brass buckle there, you have to, to actually push that through and it almost seems like it shouldn't go that way when, the first time you do it. But you got to flip it back and then lace the strap through the lower hole and out through the top hole, just like that. And that'll put the stripe on the outside of your mold. Now what you want to do is pull that snug. You don't want to pull it too tight, put too much pressure on your mold, but just enough. And it takes some playing with it to get that feel down just right. Uh, especially on a mold like this, uh, anytime you're strapping a mold where you've got a kind of a sandwich effect of a, a hard backing, either a wood or resin backing, and then a silicone mold creating a gasket effect, you want to make sure that you don't over tighten your mold. And you want to do that for two reasons. One is you don't want to break the mold. You don't want to actually crack the shell in the mold from exerting too much pressure. But you also don't want to distort the mold. And what you always want to do once you get your mold strapped together is look into the mold and make sure there's no alignment issues from over compressing the mold. And there you have the basic use of a quick release mold strap available of course on our web store.